Hello, Terhi here. I'm really, really thankful for having opportunity to design for Hip Club for the next term. I feel really grateful and well, thank you for that. Um, this is my first layout with September 2016. Hip kits, and I'm starting with the lovely frame paper we have from Maggie Holmes in our main kit. Um, I wanted to do something with lots of frames, and obviously, my pages are also full of white space, so I decided to cut the frames off from the paper and then do something with them. And I also love this hard paper also in the main kit so i took some of the hearts and cut them out too uh, fuzzy cutting is not necessarily the most favorite thing for me but in small sections it will do good and i kind of love the result of fuzzy cutting so i'm doing my best to improve myself with them anyway so once I have my preparations done, I'm still doing one little thing before I'm starting to get all together. We have this lovely washi tape in one of our September kits and I thought what to do with it. I love it's teal green. In the package there was also orange and dark blue. They all coordinate perfectly with the main kit so so i just add some to the paper and then used my new fiskars uh, circle trimmer or punch uh, to do some punches with the paper and now starts the fun part of making this layout i have two pictures of my younger one and one of the pics are small enough to put inside the frame so i have part uh, some of the frames with the kind of the background part and some are are only the frame part and i'm putting putting the smaller picture inside the frame because I want to have lots of dimension um, and adding something on top of your picture makes this dimension really really look like there is a lot of dimension and especially when I'm keeping a lot of things behind the photos it still looks like there is a lot of going on although this layout is really flat. I'm not using any any high embellishments. Um, I'm using a lot of paper, but that's it. Mm, I'm doing two different paper clusters. As you see, uh, I want to have some white space between them. Um, still, I want to keep them quite close to each other because I want the page also to have opportunity to breed <laughs> so so I made two of these little clusters I'm using really really thin uh, 3d foam to adhere them because I want to have some kind of shadows behind the clusters uh, I think it's one millimeter thin <laughs> so it's really really thin but uh, there's still some some foam so it will do a good work uh, I love the tassels from Maggie Holmes we had in in one of September kits and I wanted to give them to the honor to be a main embellishments of the page because they are so lovely and I would do anything to get them more because they are so 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 <laughs> lovely and I want to use them again so I used the stapler to adhere them and I also added some drops of glue behind them to make sure they are sticked in the place I want them to be because once you put them to album they might be somewhere else 
The title for this layout is made with Great Paper Cute Girl collection uh, chipboard stickers and I really love the way they are also really dimensional um, and I want to have this glitter gold elements on the page because I'm doing a scrapbook layout of my daughter which is really sweet and really sweet so the gold elements will do something special for this page. I also picked up one gold sticker from Project Life Kit. It's also from Maggie Holmes collection, so it will match perfectly for this layout. And now I'm just adding some hearts and some circles I cut it before, so this will be easy and simple and even though a lot of layers here. Um, we had in our color kit this uh, watercolor from Shimmers and it's perfect for making splashes to the background. I'm just adding some water and dipping my brush there and then flicking a lot of drops. Um, as it's from Shimmers it has some sheen inside so it's perfect with the golden embellishments because it also have some shiny things and and yeah that's it um this layout was mostly paper crafting more than doing a mixed media scrapbooking which is really nice because uh, i love to combine different styles to make my own style so this has some some things from mixed media and some things from traditional paper crafting and i'm really loving the result I hope you love it too and thank you for watching. We'll see you in next week. Bye!